What's going on to us, the Ant Crew? We back with another video. Uh, we're gonna do something different tonight and switch it up. Uh, we both share the same interest in movies when it comes to Christmas movies. So what we did is we broke it down to the top five, and she have her top five, and I got my top five. So basically, what we're gonna do, of course, is just uh, discuss it and break it down from five down to one. Hope you enjoy. It. So number five on my list is almost Christmas. <laughs> Why? You all should feel like a bunch of dumbasses. No, Aunt May, I came you know, here just, with I the don't purest understand how of intentions. You are grown, just straight up women delusional. Shut so up! You the them. one being shut, stupid. Shut, shut, shut up! Your daddy too damn old for all this. And if y'all don't get your asses in that kitchen and apologize right now, I'm kicking everybody's ass in here. Come on. Well, I just walked in. Boy, so listen here. Your little ass got on them red bozo shoes. That's why you got to apologize. Get your asses in the kitchen. Y'all need to get yourselves together so we can go to church tomorrow. Look at this book. Look at, look at, look at this here. Push a bitch again. Push a bitch again. God damn it. Y'all gotta go to church tomorrow. You get there early. Lonnie, get your ass away from me. This don't make no sense. I'm just gonna blow my buzz. We're not gonna make it to Christmas, are we? <laughs> not a damn chance. Man, listen, that movie was funny as hell. Monique made the movie. Monique made that. She did. She did. She Monique made the movie. My favorite part was when she first got there. Oh, and when her and Danny Glover was joking around when she first got got to town. That little fool. <laughs> Danny Glover, Danny Glover made the movie a little bit too. Well, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, he was kind of mild mannered though. Man, you know what I'm thinking about? Duff had a front. I'm thinking about a whole other movie. Oh yeah. No. He was funny as hell. We ain't even to go there. That's a whole other video. But, but yeah. My favorite, well, I'll tell you my favorite thing, because I like that too. My five is uh, Home Alone. Yeah, because Friday after next is my number two. Oh, okay. 
Alright, so my number four. Wait, I, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't tell, tell you what my favorite my part is. Go ahead. I don't know. if anybody, This movie came out in the 80s. So if anybody. Well, the movie's been popular for a long time. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sure y'all probably done seen it. If you didn't see Your it. Your parents seen it. Listen, if you didn't see it, you need to go watch it. My favorite part was when his 80 year old auntie, Chevy Chase. Because mm -hmm. his whole family was at his house for Christmas. When his 80 year old auntie was at that table and they all sat down to eat dinner. And he had her to do the prayer, yeah, the prayer. and she stood up and did the plan. What the plan? The plan is the plan. The plan is the plan. The United States of America. Before we begin, since this is Aunt Bethany's 80th Christmas, I think she should lead us in the saying of grace. Oh, oh. 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 What, dear? Grace! Grace! She passed away 30 years ago. They want you to say grace. The blessing! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, and with, with liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. Amen. 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 Listen, man, that movie is funny from start to finish. If y'all ain't seen it, you need to go see it. I'm telling you. National Lapoons. Christmas vacation. Yeah. Yeah. They got a whole, um, what is it, a trilogy? Yeah, four. they do. They I got, think yeah. it's like three or four movies. They got four, I think. They yeah, got all in connected to the um, connection to the franchise. They got a whole franchise. Let me check them out. All of them good, though. What's my, my number four is This Christmas. Oh. I've never seen her this happy. She's loving that everybody's here. I hope that every Christmas is as wonderful hey. as this Christmas. This Christmas. We gotta make cookies for the kids to leave Santa. He's already had Kelly's cookies. Yes, we The only reason why I like this movie because they had a lot of young actors in it. Uh, it was an all-star cast. And it just, you know, people people don't remember what you say, but they remember how you they, how you make them feel. That movie kinda made me feel like like Christmas, you know what I'm That's saying? That's what I'm saying. It was I, like, because you had people from all different types, like within the family. Yeah, like, like, different walks of life. You had the little rebel, and then you had the, the talent. We can relate. You, you, had, you <laughs> we can relate. Bougie. And you had all different types, so I, that's why I like that movie. It was more realistic. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, you can relate that. Listen, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it is. Because they were some dysfunctional ass people. Oh God! What's your number three? My number, my number three is Home Alone, and Home Alone made number three is because, like I said, we grew up on that. That was like one of the first Christmas movies I ever like saw and recognized as a Christmas movie. That's true. And for some reason, it made you feel like it was gonna snow outside. Well, if you was well, young. listen, when you <laughs> down with it, it was snowing in Florida. So, <laughs> where you was? In Florida. You woke up. Yeah. <laughs> What's your number three? It's Home Alone too. That's the one lost in New York. Who's this? That's this is Megan. Brooke. Give this to Brooke. Give this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. Give this. Give this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. Kevin. Give this to 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 Kevin. Here you go, Kevin. Kevin's not here. 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 What? It had a little bit more content to it because he was like moving around throughout the city. That's why I like that, and I had it higher than Home Alone One, to be honest. Uh, also, I like the pranks. The prank it went up a notch as far as the pranks. 
And you know when you watch the first like a movie for the first time, like the first movie. Yeah, the first watch time. Movie, yeah, sometimes it don't be as good, but that one was, was better. You expected to see more. But listen, I'm gonna tell you why it was better too, because they was in a bigger city. Yeah. In the first one, they was in this small. In the I don't say the town was small, but it wasn't. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was like one of them little suburban areas. It's just the community. It seemed right. Like it, it was it was yeah. real quiet. But see, he went to the big city and but the same. pranks too. Like as a kid, you that was funny to watch them. You know how you was doing the robbers and stuff. Oh yeah. But it was more. The second one had even more. So that's what I like. And about. what I like is they kept the same character. Yeah. They didn't that's switch it up. That's very important. Listen, man. Oh my God. After Home Alone too, they should have left it alone. Same thing with House Party. House Party oh, yeah. two, and then when they it three was three was was. Pushing it after three was over. Yeah. Shout out to Martin Rogers Houston. I know you good, but bro, that move was trash. Oh, Tell we all pop it now. All right, but yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, so my, what, what you on? Your number two. Yeah. Go. On. Friday after next. Oh yeah. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> all star cast. Pinky when he came to the party. Did you see how he was popping around yeah. at Jerry Curry? They modeled out, you know, just pop around. <laughs> and bring up old stuff. Oh, keep talking about that old stuff. That was my favorite part, though. Like with Pinky and the deleted scenes. If anybody ever seen the DVD, they should have kept that in there. Yeah, yeah. When I, I ain't gonna see Rick should have had more parts, too, man, in the movie. He, Hey, hey, my favorite They should have made him talk more. Yeah, mm -hmm. they should. They should. Yeah. They should. He ain't really do no talking. But Friday after next is my number two. Okay, my number two is National Lacoon's Christmas Vacation. What was your favorite part? My favorite part in that movie. I had a lot of favorite parts in that movie. The first one was when he's sitting out there like a fool. Thinking that it's the plug outside that's making the light come on. Like, bro, I would have been with him there and played with that switch. Listen. Oh. Well, Ben went in there and played with that. Listen, and then you know he had that good ass job. How yeah. did somebody with such a good job be so slow? He and then his wife went in there and cut the switch on, and then she cut the switch off. He got locked in his attic up there. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, he got locked in the attic. They left him with his mother in law. Yeah, she closed it, and yeah. it was cold, and they went to the mall. Yo, that was crazy. That was my number two. What's your number one? My number one is this Christmas. Like he said, it's just, for one, it, it's a black movie, and if you could just relate, because y'all know how black families is, once, like, I ain't going to say a whole week, because I think they came home a whole week before, yeah. and did stuff like every day, but yeah, when it go to winding down to them last few days before Christmas, and you got your family come in, and everybody get together, I mean, it just, it be all love, and that's what that movie, like, remind you of. That was a good look for us as a black culture in the black community. I'm, trying to, I'm really trying to think. Because the brother, he just ever would care. He was like out there, but... He was a gambler, though. He was? That's why they That's were why they was I thought he borrowed money from them to buy a guitar or something. I don't know. I'd like to watch it again. <laughs> hey, if y'all know, put it in the comments. Okay. You know how that be. But anyway, uh, my number one is Friday After the Next. Same thing as the cult classic. They turn nothing into something with this movie because if you look at the location, they made yeah, that. It don't look like they, they spent no money. Yeah, they 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 pelted it up and made it look like something like for real, like it was a real actual place. That's the first thing. The characters they had though, when I, that was I was my first time to be honest with you seeing Cat Williams. He I know he was probably out before then, but that was my first. That's time what brought him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that movie. Him, that man, that movie funny man. It's fine. just so many parts, like, it, it's so many moving parts to that movie. But, um, yeah, that'll be our top five. I hope y'all enjoy it. And if you got a top five... Yeah, let us know in the comments yeah. some movies, because, you know, it's, it's probably some Christmas movie, movies we ain't seen oh, we that y'all could, yeah, could put us up on. I'm telling you, shoot. And we, we like all kind of movies. And it we don't read matter. the comments, so, you know what I'm saying, just drop it down in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And... Uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Vlog is day 21. 21. We almost there, y'all. Vlog is day 21. <laughs>